I just want to first start by saying I think you definitely picked the destination I would be preparing in as opposed to Amir Khan. We saw him running around in the snow. Looks lovely, doesn't it? And in, what, five weeks' time you've got this fight. How have the preparations been going? Absolutely perfect. Obviously, we've got the weather. We're, uh, we're all living in this in my villa here. You know, we jump on his bike. We, we cycle down to the gym. We do his hard training. And then we come back and, and, we, do it, and we rest. Mm. Talk us about that uh, training because, I mean, it's been over a year since you last fought. We know training camps are very intense. Give us a sense of how tough your training camp is and, and is the body responding? I'm putting myself through hell, you know, obviously, <laughs> this fight. I think people are going to remember me by this fight, you know, because there are how many years this fight and the grudge matches has, has took to, to get to, to finally get it across the line. And I'm putting absolutely um, you know, sweat, sweat, soul, everything into, the, into this training camp. You know, we're coming to be remembered for this fight. Yep, blood, sweat and tears. And you've been out there for quite a while as well, haven't you, since before Christmas, I believe. How important was it for you to maybe get away from the distractions back home? A, a real sign of how seriously you're taking it. Yeah, it's very important, obviously, to get away, you know, before, you know, being involved with every, everything, the festive time, you know, at Christmas, where, where you know, tins of roses come out, the celebrations come out. Mm -hmm. It's easy to indulge into them chocolates and, you know, uh, lose, lose sight of what, what's ahead of me. So I think coming out here was the best thing for me to do for this fight, you know, come out here, all live together and, and train, you know, I mean, train so hard to, to, get, to, get, to get yourself in the best best place possible for this fight so you know and um, that's what we need to do take us take us self out of his comfort zone away from his family and and know what we what we're here to do yeah you mentioned away from from those big tins of chocolates as well they've been doing the rounds around here they're still around a little bit uh, the weight for you 149 pounds Amir has doubts how confident that you will make the weight I've, I've I never I've always made weight you know and uh, that's what I mean. I've given myself the opportunity to get away from from Sheffield and away from distractions, and make sure that we've got we've got my nutritionist at Greg Marriott, you know, to obviously take take that pressure away from myself, and you know, obviously have his have his eye on on the weighing scales for me, and we we come down and make the weight, you know, healthily and 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 the best best possible way. So everything's bang on track. You know, we're doing absolutely everything we should be doing. And um, the most important thing, we, we're getting his rest. We're training hard, super, super hard. And uh, like I said, the fans, the fans have been waiting for this fight for for a long, long time. And I can't wait wait to gift them, you know, the, this this late Christmas present on February 19th. Mm. What about Khan and what he says in his news conference? You, you were jealous of his success and his career. D does that hurt you? You know, it's just it's just talk. You know, end of day, if he, if he if he wants to believe that, you know, he, let him carry on believing it. He's, he's in a fairy world as it is. You know, he, he loves the media, he loves that. That's what he's about, you know, I think. This is, that's why I t tied these gloves on, not, not for all the cameras and the flash. And it will become, to become world champion and become the best in, in, in my sport, you know. So I'll be doing the talking with my fist on February 19th. I know that Amir Khan's mentioning he's got niggles and... and um, you know, he's, he's got, you know, like, he's, he's already, like, putting it out there, he's, he's negative, you know, so I just want to message to Amir Khan that the fans have been waiting for years for this fight, you know, and uh, I'm turning up even if I've got two bro broken hands, you know, they, they, they've waited so long for this fight, so don't be pulling out of this fight. This fight has been, it's been too, you know, you've been already messing about with, with the contracts and, and getting across the line. Now, now we've got this fight and we've got a date set, let's make this fight happen. You know, so I don't want, no, I've got COVID and I've got, you know, this, that. I want you to turn up February 19th, full of, you know, the best you can be, you know, because I'm going to be there in that ring February 19th. The fans have been waiting too long for it. I've been waiting too long for this fight and I'm, I'm, I'm more than ready to get in there and show the world that, you know, that, that I'm the best. And after this fight, Amir is just going to be a mere memory after this fight. What about uh, his trainer, though, Bo McIntyre? He told us that he can knock you out. Has he, has he got the power to do that? I don't believe so. You know, he's, he, he keeps banging on about his, his trainer, you know, um, about having world, world champions in his, in his camp and stuff. But 
And you know, Dominic King on my train has uh, seen seen me, uh, the, you know, teeth uh, teething ages. He knows exactly. He knows me inside out. He knows when to push me, when not to push me. He knows when I need a rest. And I mean, I heard that Amir Khan said he's not had had a day off in like you know a month or so. So it sounds, you know, that I, for me, I think once we're getting older, you know, rest is as good as uh, an hour training session. You know, you need to recover the body, and you need to you need to be fully ready for the next training session. And I think his his, his training now has never ever worked with him. He's never he don't know him. He don't know when to put how hard to push him or when or, or anything like this. Me and Dominic, you know, we've we've had we've had 40, 41, 40, 40 odd fights together. We know each other inside out. So, you know, the fact is that you know we we've got all all bases covered. Uh, we've got no excuses. We're going to be in that in that ring February 19th, 100% ready.